problem. You're lonely and you need something to cuddle in. But that's like it's gonna swim away. Merry blinking Christmas to you all. Okay, how is it that it's Christmas day and it still doesn't feel like Christmas? What's going on? Anyway, Merry Christmas everyone and welcome to my second ever what I got for Christmas video. I know some people don't like these, but it's the season of joy. It's the season of giving. There will be a really big giveaway at the end, so stay tuned. But yeah, I just think these are a bit of fun and I know people like to be nosy, as do I. If I have a huge red blob on my head, my ring light literally just face planted me, um, so that's why. But anyway, I'm gonna get a wiggle on. I'm not gonna do a disclaimer because we all know what these videos are about. Just sharing the love. And yes, let's get a wiggle on. Um, what shall I start with? Shall I start with what was in my stocking? Um, now, for Christmas, I literally said to mum, I don't want anything. Like, I genuinely said, I don't want anything. I know everyone says that and they're like, oh, actually, secretly, I want a um, Fiat 500, a diamond encrusted mobile phone, an iPhone X. I genuinely, like, don't need anything. The one thing I said I wanted was toothpaste. Yes, I wanted SLS free toothpaste. If you are allergic to SLS, like I am, then I would highly recommend the, what's the brand? Dr. Organic Extra Whitening Charcoal Toothpaste. And then I also have the Aloe Vera one. These are amazing. They are sold at Holland and Barrett. I very much enjoy them. Loving on that one. Okay, then also in my stocking, I had some Yorkshire pudding mix, which is actually not really a present, more of a chore because I need to use this to make all the Yorkshire puddings. Okay, because Christmas dinner in our household is a little bit of a struggle. We have me who's allergic to dairy, Anya who's intolerant to dairy, mum who's intolerant to dairy, Anya that's allergic to gluten, dad that's allergic to, intolerant to gluten, I can't have soy, I can't have oats. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, just a normal Christmas dinner. So this is the only Yorkshire pudding mix we could find that actually doesn't have any wheat or milk, because all of them do. So yeah, thanks Isabel. It's not that you sent this to me, but thanks for coming up with it. Then mum also got a pancake mix. Um, she's just trying to basically fatten me up because she also got me some pancakes. Yes, some wheat-free, gluten-free, golden something pancakes. These aren't vegan, but they're dairy-free. Then another thing that they never do dairy-free alternatives of is custard so mum got some custard powder this might be disgusting but i suppose we'll find out together stay tuned in my christmas vlog um that'll be coming tomorrow you can see if this is any good sorry i'm trying to get through these really quickly because i don't want to bore you guys next up we have these now these are my favorite chocolates in the world my like favorite bar of chocolate would be a lint 70 percent dark um and then my favorite like treat that's like really bougie <laughs> and it's from bougie bougie so it kind of goes are these bougie bougie hazelnut truffles now these have come in like a fancy box um so i don't think how much they were because i think in the normal box it's like seven pounds um they are so expensive because they're truffles you can probably hear anya putting things in her stocking over there but here they are oh my god look how bougie it's like the most bougie chocolate Honestly, if you are allergic to dairy or soy or anything, oh my god, mum, it's such a big box. I dread to think how much these were. It's yeah. literally such expensive bougie chocolate. But these are the sort of thing that you wouldn't buy yourself, but you love. Um, to me, these are my brand new lint chocolates because I can't have lint chocolates anymore and I can't have Frere Rochers. And I was about to put that down on the floor, but that is definitely not safe because my dog likes to eat chocolate even though he's not allowed to he's actually allergic for dogs so i'm going to put it in the silky velvet box and it can stay bougie then from my nana i got these really cute little lights you can't see but they actually do light up i think they'll look very sweet on my shelves um i also got some money so thank you so much nanny pat you're an absolute star uh, then also in my stocking, mum got me this bauble. Now, sh this is actually Primark. from Primark and it's the Mary Poppins bauble. 
So it says practically perfect in every way. <laughs> oh, did you read it? Did you just know it was perfect for me? Because, you know, I'm just so perfect. Joking. No. Um, but she didn't actually realise it's because there's a new Mary Poppins film. I've heard mixed reviews. Let me know if you guys have seen it and what you think. But I kind of feel sad having a bauble when I'm going to literally take my Christmas tree down in less than a week. It's symbolic. It's every symbolic. Year. Yeah, we do yeah. buy a different bauble and it has some meaning behind it. Two different pairs, but they're similar things. So if you've been on Instagram recently, tights are such a trend. And I wore some in New York and I've been obsessed with them ever since. But I couldn't really find any nice ones. Then Lorna Lux on Instagram wore some Gucci tights. And literally the whole of Instagram ordered them. Including my mother! <laughs> They are literally the nicest thing ever. Who would have known a year ago that people would be asking for tights under the Christmas tree? Look at them. So bougie, so extra, and I love it. How long do we bet it's gonna take me before I ladder them? You what do we give them? Not. One wear? I'm joking. I'm literally gonna treasure these with my life. I am going to not have any rings on. I'm gonna make sure all my toenails are filed down yeah. so nothing can catch. They're they done run. And oh, are they not are they non-run? You'd hope so. You'd hope so. Then they've also done Fendi ones. Look at them, they're so cool. They kind of look like brown smudge here, but if I stick my hand yeah, in it, these are, but these are much more fragile. Um, can you see? The F's. I just think they're so cool. I just can't wait. I feel like I need to force myself now to wear loads of dresses and little skirts. I mean, I'm not really a jeans person, but if you wore these under jeans, that'd be a bit of a waste. So thank you, mummy. You're yeah, a superstar. Yeah. So, <laughs> mum got me the most funny thing. Look at these. Like, literally, sorry, but they are little, um, what are these, like, little mermaid? Is that what you'd call them? Yeah. Little mermaid under the sea. A mermaid, the sea. as I said. said mermaid. <laughs> under the sea slippers. Oh, they're in sale. That's good. Yeah. Um, they're a size medium, and they're, they've got literal tails at the back. Like, um, I don't think they're going to fit me. Don't tell me that you're not a medium foot. Oh my god, they're too tight. They're actually too tight. My foot looks like it's gonna swim away! They're still in sale, so size up. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to return those and get a size up. But look at their little face. Like, sorry, but I just wanna give it a kiss. So cute. Then, shall I continue on like the under the sea? No, not under the sea. Animal theme. Mum seems to have gone for themes with my presents. So next up, we have one of these. Now, <laughs> kind of looks like I've like just sat a flamingo and like stolen it from somewhere. But this is actually a snuggle buddy. I think this is basically, Misha, you don't have a boyfriend. You're lonely and you need something to cuddle at night. Quite rude, frankly. Quite rude. But I'll accept because it's pink, it's fluffy, it's adorable. Hold on, has it not got a hot? Yeah, I do think it is us. a hot. Warm me. There's a lot of German on it. Oh yeah, and then look, it has these little buttons up the bar. But no, I love like cuddling things. I'm not a cuddly person with people, but things that don't breathe, like stuffed toys, I'm all about. I don't like hearing people breathe, it stresses me. But no, I'm assuming this is from TK Maxx? Yep. It looks like a TK Maxx purchase. Then we continue on with the flamingos, and mum got the most beautiful snow globe loads of people collect snow globes i've never had one before this is from john lewis and it's got these really cute flamingos in it and then these palm 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 tree no yeah are they palm trees yeah and then you just shake it up shake it up shake it up and it's got loads of pink glitter so is that not the cutest thing ever that will look perfect on my shelves so can't wait for that then, final flamingo based item is the softest nightgown from Topshop. This is honestly so soft, so adorable. Look at that. Wow, I love the different shades of pink. We've got baby pink, we've got hot pink. And this was actually also in sale from 30, 34 pounds for a nightgown. That's a lot of money. Reduced to 20, and this is a UK small. And ma. Problem? Mum? The nightgown doesn't have a belt. Doesn't have a belt. 
it's beltless. Then I got this really cute little unicorn, as mum can tell, as you may be able to tell, mum knows, that I like anything pink, anything fluffy, anything stuffed, a bit like I'm gonna be after we have our roast. What time do you guys have your roast dinner? Because it's currently like half two, um, and our turkey's just cooked, but we have min min mince pies for breakfast. Um, and then we don't, we don't eat until like five. Also, shh, don't tell mum. I'm gonna eat one of the bougie bougies. Where have they gone? Has Alfie stolen them? Where have my bougie bougies gone? They're here. Shh, don't tell her. Cause she'll tell me I'm really ruining my appetite. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready? I just wanna be able to have it with you so you can see my reaction. Honestly, honestly, if you can't have dairy and you like Ferrero Rocher's, the hazelnut ones of these are basically Ferrero Rocher's. The champagne ones are disgusting, don't recommend these. Look at all that gooey goodness. Oh my god. The problem is I could eat the whole box. I got me this little postcard and it says, the best is yet to come. And it says, and please never ever forget it. When things get tough, you are a rising star. Here's to the best year yet, Mama G. I actually started crying when I opened that. Because hopefully the best is yet to come. Life is all about the journey, the up and the down. And I feel like that's been 2018. I feel like 2018 has been the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, but that's fine, that's life. It happens to all of us, and this is a jolly, upbeat video because it's Christmas! <laughs> anyway, okay. So, uh, back to a slightly more bougie present. Mum seems to be on the hosenry section. Um, so I've got some of the, look at that box. Like, is that not beautiful? Okay, are you ready? I did not know what to expect from a box of this size. I was like, is it a belt? Like, I don't know. It's socks! Like, you know when people say, oh, I got socks for Christmas, and it's, like, an awful thing. Sorry, but these are not awful socks. Guys, look at them. They are pink. They are sparkly. Imagine these. I know this isn't very practical, but imagine these with little heels on. Like, I wish I had these for New York. They would have looked so... Mum got a message. I would look... They... I would look... They would look so cute in New York, but you know, I'm just gonna have to go back. I mean, they're gonna look cute with trainers where I live now, and they're gonna look cute with boots and everything in between, but there is a green pair, a like bluey green pair, a pink pair, a creamy pair, and a purple pair. So thank you, mummy, I absolutely love them. <laughs> then, some more new year, new me, all that shizness. We've got a 2019 planner. This one is pink and sparkly. I'm pretty sure this is from, oh, this is Paper Chase. Fabulous, and it just takes you through the year. You know, what planners do. Then we have, this is really cute. This actually came with the little postcard and this says, relive your happiest moments filled with positivity. Because mum knows that I love these sort of things where you like write down when your something good's happened or blah, 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 blah. Like for my New Year's resolutions, I'm not just writing down New Year's resolutions because I think it's really good to set goals and to focus on what you want to achieve next year. But I've also, I'm writing down what I have achieved this year because I think that is even more important if not, even more, no as important if not more important because you need to look back at the year and even if it's had some ups and it's had some downs you need to look about what you actually have achieved don't worry i'm just getting deep in my world over christmas because apparently i'm an emotional wreck but no it says like top three moments of today it's really cute it's really cringe but see it's the good Misha. every day yeah. i'm really cringe so it's fine then Mum got me this paper chase notebook and this Mom says and dad, we dad. I mean dad didn't even know last slash look slash care what we were opening but that's my dad and I really don't mind. Um it says Queen on it because you know I'm just totally a queen. Um 
and mum said she got this for me to write my book in because if you didn't know future aim not of next year of many years to come is five to write plus mum says five plus i pretty do agree then random gift considering i'm not even a bath person but it's very cute mum got this little rubber ducky John Lewis. Alfie probably wants it actually. Oh my god, Alfie would love that. Mm. Bit of an expensive gift for a dog. We didn't get Alfie anything. Oh, we're such bad parents. He's getting a rose. That's all True. he wants. Food. So yeah, this is a little ducky. So, so cute. Thank you, mummy and daddy. Then, this is something that I feel like mum is forcing me to have, yeah. rather than out of choice. So, if you didn't know, I wear glasses. I don't own a glasses case. I lost the one that my glasses came in. I've had my glasses for like four years now. They are scratched. They are beaten up. But would it be without a bit of clothing? Karina! Karina's had her baby! Oh, oh my god, yeah, that's why I screenshot it to you. And what's the name of the child? It's got the cutest name. This scarf slash blanket from Topshop. Oh no, sorry! No, no. Jack Wills! In sale. £39. Was it in sale? There's yep. no sale price on it. No, it was reduced. When was it? I love scarves that are like a blanket. I don't like measly little miss scarfs and the cutest little skirt this is also from top shop and this is like a baby pink corduroy with these little spots along it is that not the cutest thing ever then i've never seen this before in top shop but this is beautiful it is this little cropped mustard and cream and black knitted jumper with a v-neck line i think this looks very jack will-esque you ready meh meh Okay, it's kind of already been like opened and not ripped to shreds, but the packaging's been ripped off. Have you ever seen anything so Misha in your life? It's baby pink. It's baby blooming pink. How cute. I know what I can do, mum. I can use this belt on the nightgown. <laughs> totally practical. So I've been well and truly spoiled. Um, let's not even go there. Um, but yeah. This is my what I got for Christmas 2018. Not about what's under the tree, it's about who's round it. And I'm so lucky to have such an incredible family, gifts or no gifts. And also now I get to very excitingly tell you guys all about my huge Christmas giveaway. So this is for you and your bestie or your mum or your brother or your sister or your family relative or anyone to win with you. So I will pop a video on the screen of all the goodies that are in it. This is just my thank you to you guys for sticking around with me this past year and sharing the Christmas spirit and the Christmas love because presents for all. I wish I could do presents for all. To enter this giveaway all you need to do is to like this video subscribe to my youtube channel comment down below with what is the favorite gift that you got somebody else for christmas not that you received that you gave somebody else then head on over to my instagram give me a follow check out my latest picture and comment tagging your best friend to enter and your best friend has to also have done these steps just to mention, they need to follow me, they need to subscribe. I love you guys a lot, make sure this video like and subscribe, enter the giveaway, happy Christmas and a, wait, no, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye! Mm.